Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. Today we will build a simple custom browser inside our Ionic app and this is called a themable browser. So um, I've started a blank new Ionic app and we go directly into it and start um, by npm install the themable browser package from Ionic Native. Once the npm package is ready, we can continue with the actual Cordova plugin and also edit like this. So as we're using Cordova plugin, this means we cannot test this on our browser anymore. Um, perhaps a new browser window will open, but of course it won't be styled. So um, therefore make sure that you test this on a device. So let's continue. Uh, themable browser from at Ionic Native. Um, themable browser. Okay, there it is. Right to our app module and then to the array of our providers. Okay, so we're ready to use it in action and let's go to our home HTML and add a simple button so we can actually open our browser. Uh, I've written this in the uh, written version of this tutorial. This is like the most basic um, view I've ever added in a tutorial. Just a button to open our browser. And now we come to the actual funny stuff of this video. So first of all, add to your constructor, like always, the themable browser. Um, of course, we need the variable as well. And then we can also import a few other things like um, the themable browser options, which we need. So if we want to open the new browser, um, we basically have to create a new browser um, by saying um, const browser of the type themable browser um, this is actually a themable browser object, I think, like this. Um, this dot themable browser, and then we only got the function create right here. So we create it, um, and now you can open a URL. So this could be a website or a PDF file, whatever you want um, that you want to display to your users. I will use simply the ionicacademy.com and it should open in a blank view and we will pass in some options and this is the important part right here. So our options object um, is of the type themable browser options if we type it right. Themable browser options and this can be a quite big object actually. But this is what makes our browser look um, more like our actual app styling. Um, if you go to the class you will see there's quite a lot you can do. Um, many buttons and behavior for the browser. Um, we can define menu buttons, toolbar stuff um, and all of this can be found also on the Cordova page for the plugin. If you scroll down, there's an example um, of different stuff and also the properties are really good described here. So just see what you need um, for your browser, what you need um, your users to be able to do inside the app. In our case, we will just do a few basic things. So we say we have a toolbar with a height of 44 and a color. Um, color is actually eight digits so we have um, the regular six for the hex code and then we got an additional two now at the end for the opacity but if you pass in this it's like opacity one this would be opacity zero and the rest uh, I'm not able to calculate in this moment <laughs> but of course it's somewhere in between then so for the title, um, we have a light, slightly blue background, I think. So the title should be um, perhaps white and one. Uh, looks quite crazy with the eight digits, but that's how it works. And 
we got some auto completion as we are inside this object. So show page title, yes please. And I want to make it a static text and simply say Academy Browser. This could also be the title of the page, but I wanted to show this option as well. Um, then we got some default buttons like a back button, forward and close button. Um, all of these buttons can have custom images and you can load those images either uh, from the native project Android or iOS and this is also recommended but for the simplicity here I will also show that it's possible to use it without uh, special customization. So uh, perhaps we should add some icons here, create a new folder and I got some free icons so back okay doesn't look that good on a, this background but they are now inside this folder so the path to them um, in the final www folder will be assets mg and for the back button it's back png i think right um let's say we want to align this one to the left side and then we also can if we want to add the event and we will see how the event works in a second so let's add a few more of these um, let's make this one the forward button uh, forward pressed um, perhaps we use right side on this one or we use right side on both of them um, and then we got a close button because we need an option to leave this whole thing and we add the close pressed event here okay so now we got a custom toolbar with a title and three buttons oops um, we got the browser object created with the options and now uh, we can do another thing on our theme of a browser object um, as you can see we could do different stuff, insert some CSS or execute a script. But what we want to actually do is listen on the close pressed event. And this is just an example. You can listen to all the events of the buttons, the custom buttons. And in this case, we call um, browser.close. Perhaps this would even um, automatically work, just like back and forward, they just work. Um, so let me already run Ionic Cordova build iOS. As I said, you need to run this on a device now to test it. But um, this is just one example of how to use the events of our browser object. So um, if you have like a share button or something else, um, perhaps you have a content search where you can search the PDF file, you can add all of this just add a button, listen to the event and perform the action you need to do inside your app. So let's see how all of this looks on the device. All right, here to the right is the iOS simulator and I'm gonna go ahead and open our browser and we see that the Ionic Academy page launches and at the top we got our custom toolbar. So um, this is not the uh, general in-app browser anymore. But it's this Academy browser title. We specify the colors um, and the icons. So with home, we can go back, um, we can open it, um, go somewhere and the back button becomes active. So we can jump back um, theoretically, but we're on the same page right now, I think. But if we go here, we can actually go back with a back button or we could go forward with a forward button and home again. Okay, so um, this is how you create your own themable browser. Of course, this is just a super basic styling. The buttons not look really good. You could also add um, pressed images. So the image pressed, um, which should have a different color of your general image. You could change the density of the image. And of course, add a lot more um, buttons, options, whatever you want here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Ionic videos and also check out the ionicacademy.com 
um, where you can become an Ionic developer with a great library of courses, projects, and an awesome community. So I will see you inside or in the next video. Have a great day and take care.